to the glasses that spark conversation, to the ideas that then pour out. Ours came from a night like that, and somehow survived the morning after. To make our own tequila. And there it is, Casamigos tequila. Good friends started that when they couldn't find a tequila that they really liked, they made their own. And today, yes, they'll be raising a glass or two uh, to a very big sale. Just how big, Scott Peterson? Yes, Heather, George Clooney, one hardship after another, <laughs> this guy. 700 billion, well, it's no, it's $1 billion total for the company. That's 700 million up front, plus another 300 million, depending on how well it sells. And it's by all accounts selling pretty well. And this is a company that George Clooney started with his friends and purely just to get together and to have a tequila that they liked. There we can see the three of them there, Mike Meldman, George Clooney, and Randy Gerber married to Cindy Crawford there on the right and they had uh, houses together in Mexico they were neighbors they got together and they said hey we don't you know we, we like tequila let's make our own company that was about four years ago so now they're selling it to U UK giant Diageo they own Smirnoff's Johnny Walker Bailey's and uh, George Clooney just doing what a lot of people would like to be able to do in their spare time and that is gear up something from nothing something that they enjoy to partake and that's tequila in this instance uh, and they're not the first ones to get in this kind of business. We saw Canada's Dan Aykroyd get into this. Wayne Gretzky has wine. Sammy Hagar, just to name a few. And so uh, so this is a more triumph for George Clooney, who just became a father with Emil, his wife, just a couple weeks ago. You're right. I mean, Mike Weir, uh, Drake, they're all into the, the liquor yes. brands and yes. liquor and wine brands. So there's a lot of star power attached to this. But in, in Clooney's case, Scott, is this company, is his Casamigos uh, company really worth the big money? Well, this is what all the bean counters are now trying to analyze. The Agio stock was down about 1% in trading. A lot of analysts saying mm, they paid an awful lot of this for the star power. But uh, tequila, high-end tequila, is becoming a very popular drink in the U.S., doubling just over in the last five years. And uh, uh, Casamigos, which is the house of friends, has grown at about a 50% rate. They've sold 170,000 cases last year. That's a record for them. And when you look at the Agio, they uh, sold about 26 million cases of uh, Smirnoffs, so there could be a lot of potential to the upside on this tequila brand.